What's going on everybody? Good morning, good evening, wherever you are, and whatever time it is, welcome back to yet another video with your man, Immersion and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our first ever grand final of the Arena Maxima Tournament Diadoki Wars Edition. That's right everybody, we are finally diving in to the grand final to see who out of our many gladiators earns the right to be titled Imperator. We have Pergamon taking on the Seleucids over there in the distance and this is played by none other than Johnny the Dumpling. He is taking on the monster of the East, Calogero. This is going to be an absolute smasher banger. All of the other crazy adjectives. These two players are some of the most experienced and the most just overall well balanced fantastic players I've seen. So we have absolutely no idea what's going to be going on with these particular battles. This first one is Pokemon versus the Seleucids. Um, by the way, everybody, for this particular video, I'm going to avoid doing timestamps down below. Just so you don't have any spoilers in the timestamps. Again, I'm still experimenting with this format. Please leave any comments uh, that you would like to see. Just so you can let me know what you want me to do. But anyway, if you really, really prefer having timestamps, please let me know. But if you're happy to just kind of cruise along and see what happens, that's fine too. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out Johnny's army playing his Pokemon, and then we'll check out Caligero playing his Silicons. Alrighty, without any further ado, everyone, here we go. Let's check out the front line of Johnny. On the far left-hand side, we have two sets of Pergamine Pikemen. We then have a third one here. We then have Thurio Spears and then another Thurio Spears. Uh, going back to the left hand side we have two sets of Pergamine Thurio Swords. We have a single Scorpion unit, another Pergamine Pike, Pergamine Pike and then another Pike as well. These are backed up by two Galatian Mercenary Spearmen. These bad boys were terrifying in the last matchup that we saw them in so this will be very tough for Caligaro the Beak. On the far left hand side, we then have Pergamy Thurio Swords again. Another Thurio Swords, that's four in total. We then have a Rhodian Mercenary Slinger, do some nice little sniping. We then have a Heavy Lancer for the General, Tarantine Cavalry. And then two more Heavy Lancers again. Johnny coming in heavy with the Shock Cavalry. Let's see if his micromanagement is up to the task of getting the job done. Let's go ahead and check out these Seleucids though. No time wasted here. We can see almost looks like a bit of a smaller army. We're probably missing a few of the units actually. Yeah, this is definitely not our 2020. You know what? Let's go ahead and I'll skip ahead to where we can see the rest of the units. All right, everyone. Here we are with the armies marching forward. Let's just very quickly check out Calogero's army. Looks like he has one, two, three, four, five bronze shield pikemen for the front. On the left hand wing, we have Thurio Spears. We then have a set of Greek infantry. In the center, we have two sets of Greek javelinmen, a Thurio sword. We then have an Indian elephant unit, and then I thought we saw a heavy lancer. Maybe, no, not yet. Never mind. Meanwhile, towards the rear of his army, on the left hand side, we have a Tarantine cav, another one, companion cavalry for the general, which is a shot cav. And then we have two more sets of Tarantine cav. Oh my gosh, he's coming in heavy with the Tarantines. I am definitely a fan of this. 120 men per unit, 4 javelins per unit, and their melee cav. Wow. Very interesting armies going up against one another here. Let's go ahead and press play and see, and see sorry, who is going to be winning the grand final. Army composition wise, I really don't know who I favor. I think the infantry of Pokemon is better, but the cavalry on the Seleucids combined with their elephants. That's going to be such a tough nut for Johnny to crack here. Tricky stuff. Here we go. The armies are getting close to one another. The Scorpion is opening fire on the pikemen. Ooh, immediately taking losses. Heavy stuff. Zooming out a little bit, we can see interesting formations going on here. Pikemen look like they're going to be clashing with one another. Javelin's coming in and against Calogero's front line. Ooh. Noxy's pikemen out of formation instantly. 
Looks like Kalogero isn't looking to mess around. And is looking to engage directly straight away. Sends in his pikemen out of formation on the charge. Interesting tactics here. He's getting hammered by these javelins though. The Thurio swords are hammering his pikemen. His own Thurio spears do respond. And meanwhile, doubling up right here. Pikemen combined with Thurio spears for Johnny. Oh my goodness, wow. Interesting little tactic there. Calogero needs to get his men back in pike formation though. Looks like he's actually pulling back across the entire front line here. You can see he's been moving back. Tried that initial engagement and it did not favor him. Those javelins combined with the double up of some of the units. Like the pikemen backed up by Thurio Spears. Very interesting tactic. Meanwhile, Johnny looking to make a play of his cavalry. Swinging them around this left hand side potentially. Calogero responding in kind. Ooh, look at his cavalry. Very spread out. Meanwhile, Johnny keeping his cav clumped together. Issuing entire orders. You can see he's, not, he's doing nothing too pretty, nothing too special, but it gets the job done. Very practical use. The scorpion, meanwhile, is targeting the cavalry, the Tarantines. They are getting kills. They're picking them off. Gonna very quickly you lose the uh, numbers advantage in the cav. And look at that. We can see the red line right here. Oh, they're only just in two. I'm surprised though they're not going for the elephants. I would say they're a bit more scary, but who knows? Maybe Johnny will swap his target. The melee fighting is actually quite slow. We do have an engagement occurring over here on the right hand side. Javelins are pummeling the Pergamine forces. And then we have the uh, Greek infantry getting involved. Oh, wait, no. Still Pergamine Thurio sword, sorry. They look like Greek infantry, not looking very glamorous for Pergamon. And then looks like they're gonna be responded to by the Thurio spears of the Seleucids. Combined with some skirmishes coming up here. Interesting how the entire front line is just holding right now. I mean this is the grand final, Johnny Calogero, they know the stakes are high. One of them is going to be dubbed Imperator today slash tonight. Ooh, look at this. Johnny does a frontal attack charge. At least across his center left right here. Infantry still holding, although does need to be threatened. We'll be careful of being threatened of outflanking. Over there on that left. What's his scorpion doing? He is moving his scorpion actually. And looks like he's giving an attack order to the elephants. I'm going to be very curious to see how many actual kills they get with their scorpion. Here it comes, I think. Oh, just missed. <laughs> Couldn't hit the broad side of an elephant, right? Am I right? Okay, never mind. Sorry, that's the second time I've done this joke now. Anyway, infantry engagement continues. In the center, Calogero taking the poor side of the engagement so far. Johnny being fairly defensive on his right. Calogero sees this and threatens his uh, right hand flank. Pushes forward Calogero's left. The elephants are getting attacked still. They're just in range. Oh and the Rhodian mercenary slingers come in. Start playing a major part. Very good use of the sniping abilities here from Johnny. And it's interesting because he's only just in like the sphere as well. Caligaro just moved back a tiny, tiny bit. That would have been enough. I mean, the Scorpion could move forward, but... He's sort of being forced into an engagement where it doesn't look like he's ready. Even though Johnny's playing quite defensively so far, he's actually dictating the battle quite well. Even now, these elephants are still in range, they're still taking fire. They haven't died, but they are taking hit point damage, which is a thing. They are going to start losing health, by the way. Meanwhile, Pergamine Thurio Swords engaging the Thurio Swords of the Seleucids alongside their Thurio Spears. It's just Thurios galore over here on the right hand side. Seleucids definitely on the poor receiving end of this fight, though. 
I can definitely see a little bit of an explosion potentially occurring if Johnny gets a little gap right here. Why not push forward with all of his forces? He looks like he's almost outnumbering the Seleucids, really. But Caligero does have his army so spread out. Johnny is staying quite close to each other, to all of his men. Like, if we zoom out, this is like the radius that he's keeping his men involved in. That's what. Not very far at all. I don't know what that would be in degrees or whatnot. But he's keeping his men quite close together. Elephants. I'm not really sure what Caligar is trying to do with them. He's sending them back over there. Bringing them back now. Maybe trying to push the uh, skirmishing units of Pokemon out of formation. But they can definitely still keep firing if they're not out of ammunition. Scorpion does only have 20 shots though. Meanwhile, Pergamon pushing forward right here quite aggressively, getting a little bit caught out of formation. They're going to take a hail of javelins for the trouble. But they are also doing a massive swarm charge right here. Look at this. Pushing hard against the Furious Spears of the Seleucids. Calogero may be getting overwhelmed here. He needs to do something to sort of help out his infantry here. Look, he's just lost... The first routed unit of the battle. Meanwhile, the Rhodians trying to snipe those elephants still just get whatever damage they can to them. That is really the scariest thing for Johnny here. If he could take out those elephants, that's going to be a major W for him. Meanwhile, Johnny cycling his infantry. Charges one in, pulls one out. Has so many infantry nearby supporting each other. And he's pikemen. Simply just holding. That's all they have to do. Because Johnny is nudging and eating away at Caligero over here on this left hand side. Very nice stuff. Very patient game so far. Caligero's cavalry still haven't even come into play at all. Despite him actually having quite decent medium melee cav. Again, I'm, we're just seeing Johnny dictating the battle so far. Calogero's a little bit busy with his micromanagement, trying to save his elephants. He's pulled them out of the uh, radius for now, of the scorpion. But, ooh, look at this cavalry push coming in from Johnny. Ooh, that's a little threatening. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do we have here? Calogero... Still responding with just a couple units of his cavalry. Johnny calls his bluff back. Meanwhile, though, we're seeing a massive increase in infantry on the right hand side. The Seleucids, Calogero, sending his men around the right hand flank. He's going to start getting some decent kills against the Pergamene troops, but again. Johnny is rotating his men in and out. He actually has these more battered troops towards the back now. More fresh spears that have come in. Some uh, fresh Galatians as well over here. And they're going to be taking some javelins to the face. Oh. Getting backed up by more Pergamine Furious Swords. But Calogero again on the... Uh, Worst receiving end of this. He's about to... Oh, almost lost that unit. He is killing a lot of the Pergamon troops, but none of them are routing yet. Meanwhile, Caligaro, he just has a lot of holes in his line. Like, his pike units have been chomped up by javelins. Almost all of his pikemen have taken some sort of decent losses, and they have no reserves out here on this left. So, I mean, right now, if Johnny wants to do the push, he can definitely get it done. The main threat is still the elephants. I think that's why Johnny's so hesitant to push, but right now, his infantry are chomping through. Johnny does take the first L with his Galatians, routing down to 90-something men left. Not ideal for him. Sends in a uh, fresh batch of... Greek Thurio Spears. Looks like he's also rerouting more Thurio Spears. Just Thurio's galore over here. 
<laughs> this is a very intense battle. Not a lot of massive maneuvers or anything going on. But both men trying to micromanage their troops so well. Doing the best they can. Uh oh. Not good for Calogero though. Does end up losing his Greek infantry. Terrible unit anyway, but every unit you lose off the field is going to contribute to the morale penalty. Again, Johnny threatening with his cavalry. What is going on with Calogero's cap? He is so spread out. Got three units over here. Has his elephants over here. General and cavalry way in the rear. He has to keep them that far back, by the way, because if not, they're going to get sniped by a scorpion. So I'm just pointing out to all of you how far back it is, but obviously there's reasoning for it. Infantry clash is still quite interesting. Cavalry are right here, and they're actually going to be charging in. Smashing into one of the javelin units. That should be an easy knockout for the cavalry right there. Should be, yep. Scor uh, skirmishes, sorry, are routing. Calogero does threaten with a charge. He is also moving up his elephants. Is he committing right now? Surely not already. Oh, he just charges through his own men directly into the fray while his cavalry charges on in, distracts Johnny's shock cavalry. Oh my goodness. Johnny does get the charge against one of the Seleucid Tarantine units. The other two escape and now they're sort of leaving their mate to die. Meanwhile, the elephants are getting targeted by what few projectiles are left by Johnny. Oh my goodness, none of the elephants are dead yet, but they are so close to routing. Cavalry is trying to chase them down constantly. Even if they route, they should come back, but... Johnny just needs to route these and then he can do a massive push. Look at his infantry here, over here. He has so much infantry. Ooh. Calogero coming in with a very nice charge right here with his Tarantines. Nice deflection, but Johnny very quick with the micro, responds in kind. The elephants, they're going to start taking losses. Yep, they have. They lost their first elephant. Elephant sandwich over there. And now they're getting hit again by the Rhodians, I believe. How frustrating for Calogero. He does have a cavalry engagement going on here, but look at this. He's going to bring his elephants over. Johnny has cavalry to send in, but now they're going to get charged by the elephant potentially. Oh, no. Johnny loses one of his cavalry units. <gasps> oh, that's big. That's a big L for Johnny. Meanwhile, the elephant's getting involved amongst the infantry now. Very good timing by Calogero to bring them in. Is he going to overcommit? No, he's not. Oh. Oh, controversial decision right there. Pulls these elephants out. He has cavalry that are just waiting to be charged, mate. And even then, more Tarantines are circling around over here on the right-hand side. The elephants are being constantly harassed by the skirmishes. These bad boys might defeat the elephants single-handedly, nullifying them. The general is over here trying to unite his men, maybe chase down some of the Peregrine troops. That are not shattering, despite having hardly any men. Everyone, they just did. Calogero loses one of his cavalry units. Not good for him. Meanwhile, this other one is taking some pretty serious damage. Johnny comes in with the charge. Tarantines are going to take damage on the charge, but if the cavalry of Pergamon can be stuck in a long-term engagement, Tarantines are going to do quite well. Gets in a decent charge here, not ideal for Calogero. It was decent, but nothing too crazy. Infantry combat over here has still been going back and forth. Johnny definitely made some serious inroads, but the elephants came in. They did some nice morale damage. And look at this. This is going to be a scary charge. Oh, oh, oh. are the elephants going to bring this back for Calogero? Oh, no. He swings them to the right. Looks like he's charging head on into Thurio Spears. Ooh, that's a scary charge. His own unit ends up routing, unfortunately, for him. Meanwhile, Johnny dismantling the cavalry of the Seleucids. Oh, okay. All right. Okie dokie. All right. 
This is not looking good for Calagero now. Johnny doing very well to dissect. The Saluka Cavalry, the elephants are charging on in now. Calagero's completely committing his elephants. He does have pikemen nearby, needs to be careful of them. He does end up routing the Rhodians Sliggers, but not really too much of a big deal now. Meanwhile, pikemen are still being nullified. Not really any use right now. This is all the actions going on over here. Calagero's cavalry chased off the field by the Pergamon. Oh my gosh, the Pergamon cavalry comes in huge, gets routes across all of these Saluka Cav. A couple of these Saluka Cav units are coming back, but they're so depleted. And the elephants are not getting enough done. They need to get more involved. The general does get a decent little charge in, but he's already down to 62 men. Not ideal for him. Meanwhile, Johnny pulls all of his pikemen over all of a sudden. Caligero needs to respond in kind somehow with his own pikes. Ooh, what are the elephants doing? We really gotta watch these elephants. It's still anybody's game, but it's starting to really favor Johnny quite seriously. Pikemen are coming in as well to back him up. He's trying to lure the cavalry over. Ooh, they might end up routing anyway. Surrounded by multiple enemies. However, there's a big route right there. For Caligero, the Seleucids, they're on the struggle bus. This is not looking good for them. The, really, the elephants are still the main thing keeping Caligero in this game right now. His cavalry has routed. They are coming back from routing, but... When you come back from morale, you're never going to be the same. And Not only that, Johnny's doing a really good effort of micromanaging his infantry to stop the elephants from getting the really ideal charge that they need to. I think that was a really big missed opportunity with the cavalry, though. If the elephants charged into that mess, uh, like if they killed the Pergamene general, whew, that would have been deadly. We do have a cav unit out here in the back for Caligero trying to charge some of the Pergamene infantry. Nice job harassing them, keeping them out of formation, but... Meanwhile, not really a lot going on in terms of maneuvers. We're seeing one major one come in here now. Elephants recharging some Thurio Spears, getting countercharged by cavalry, and there's pikemen nearby that are slowly marching forward. The elephants are very close to routing. Oh, that was close for them. Caligero's general, not too far away from dying as well. He cannot afford to lose his general. Look at these units, they're coming back too slow from the route. Oh, he needs to get them to hurry up. Meanwhile, this unit way out here as well. Needs to be brought on back. Caligero does have the units. But Johnny's micromanagement, still two on top of it. Look at this, man. What a tough nut to crack now for Caligero. Johnny's infantry looking solid. Very good infantry left over for the Pergamene forces. Wow, what do you do here? <laughs> um, I'm thinking that Caligero needs to get a commitment of all of the infantry for Pergamon and then get his elephants in some sort of gap. Maybe through here, maybe through there, who knows. But if he allows these little small tidbit infantry engagements to continue, he's got to keep losing men. Oh, look at that. An Intimidate comes in from Johnny. Oh, that could be big. Wow, they don't route from that? Are you serious? That's kind of crazy. Caligero's cavalry are making their way back now. Looks like he's doing the same for that, potentially. That, or he's going to charge them. He does have pikemen going way out here, doing a little flanking force on their own. What the hell is going on here, everyone? This is a very confusing battle. <laughs> the elephants, they go in for a charge, but then they get counter microed and... Caligero, look at this massive sort of gap right here. There's so much cavalry coming in from Johnny. Alongside some fast-moving infantry, Caligero's gotta get out of there. Johnny, on the other hand, absolutely taking advantage of Caligero's lack of infantry in the center right. Ooh, what a charge. Nice job countercharging the general right here. No way he's gonna get lucky enough to get the kill, but he might end up riding one of these units. Nah. Shouldn't route. 
Although the elephants were trying to swing around, but yeah, the general pulls away. Good for them. Meanwhile, Caligero did a really nice bit of micromanagement here. Brought out one of his pikes, crushed one of the units. What's that? Galatian Furio Spear. However, our pikeman unit is chasing down his cavalry. <laughs> Not something you hear someone say every day in a Total War battle, but anyway. That is what's going on over there. Yep, and they routed too. Oh my gosh, that's kind of crazy. Man, some of these morale losses and units routing has felt a little bit weird throughout the tournament. The general's still right back here for the Seleucids for some morale, morale support. Infantry pretty close to routing across both sides. They have some shaky units. And now Caligero's pikemen was at almost full strength is now stuck in a ground out fight against some pergamine pikes. Not a good sign for them, although they were just ordered to retreat. Both men needing to combine their forces, get them close together, but Johnny's cavalry still has it, still has his general. Still trying to threaten Caligero's right hand flank. That's what he's been doing this entire matchup. But Caligero has lost his cavalry almost entirely. There goes some of them there. Do we have any more coming back from routing? No, doesn't look like it. Just this one single unit way out there. And then there is the general as well. Fire out. Wow. There's just there's still so much decent infantry for Pokemon. Ooh, risky charge here. Oh my gosh. Whoa! That's a solid charge. <laughs> Calogero play with fire. He's se he's severely depleted general. Charges head on into a pike unit, catches Johnny off guard, and then he outflanks with another pike unit as well. Wow, what a charge! But it looks like his general might route. He's just lost 20 men in that charge. <gasps> oh, that's big. Oh, that's big. His general's routing. They do have Cav coming in, but he needs to get his elephants involved yesterday, and the elephants are just way too slow. The rest of his infantry are not taking too kindly to the fact that general's running off the field. Pergamine Pike unit does route, but... Oh, I don't know if they can recover from that now. The general might come back from routing, but... The units are so depleted. Johnny just needs to do a solid push now, and then it's GG's. And yep, here it comes. He's pushing forwards, flanking around that left-hand side. Infantry going up the center. Cavalry staying nearby to give morale support. Understood. Oh, what a lethal use of abilities there. The Intimidate in conjunction with a charge. Oh, what a gap. Oh, you're kidding me. Yep, there goes the elephant. See you later, alligator. And then Johnny turns around, immediately recharges the Seleucid forces. Okay, that's it. That's going to be the hammer in the coffin now, surely. Seleucid cavalry is trying to come back to rectify the situation, but... Elephants are gone. Most of the infantry is gone. That's it. Caligero's done. GG's. Well played. Good luck. Have fun all around. <laughs> that was such a close battle. It wasn't even action packed, but it was just non stop little sort of grinding at each other. I love that. And it really demonstrates the skill and understanding of both players here. Anyway, let's check out these stats real quick and then we'll get into the next battle. GG's to Johnny. Wow, everyone, what a battle that was. Um, very, very interesting, and I think we can definitely see the difference in the infantry. Pergamon still had most of their pike win at the end of the match. Um, even some of the Furio Spears were still hanging around. The pike win didn't even get many kills, but they didn't need to. They just still needed to hang out and have a good time. Um, Scorpion did some nice sniping. Um, cavalry of the Seleucids actually did quite well, considering that they... Had some really unlucky misfortune in terms of charges and whatnot. I, man, there's so many things that could have went either way for both parties here. The Rodians somehow didn't get all that many kills, but they were doing some good damage against the elephants, so still very cost-effective. 
Wow, um, man, I feel like these elephants could have tipped the scale a little bit more, maybe? In that um, first initial big um, cavalry engagement. But they just weren't utilized down there, at least not for that particular purpose. They were busy dealing with infantry and trying to avoid getting sniped, so... Excellent uh, battle right here overall. Johnny did fantastic, as did Caligero. Thank you both gentlemen for playing, but so far... Johnny takes the first W in this best of three series. Let's see if he can take a 2-0 knockout for the grand final win of the Arena Maxima Die Donkey Wars Edition. Alrighty, everyone, here we are. The second battle in this best of three between Caligaro and Johnny the Dumpling for the grand final of the Arena Maxima. Our first ever edition of the Arena Maxima, Dying Donkey Wars edition. Let's go ahead and enter slow motion at least. While we check out the Epirus roster played by Johnny the Dumpling. Taking on Bactria over there in the distance played by Caligaro. Uh, we have Therios Spears here, another Therios, Therios Swords. Epirus Levy, uh, Therios Swords. And then we have some Pikemen at the front, yep, Greek Bronze Shield, one, two, Three, and then a scorpion right here. Four Greek bronze, five. Thurio spear, and then another Thurio spear. Thurio sword, Thurio galore. Why not? It's such a good cost effective unit. Another Thurio sword over here on the left hand side as well. Um, then in the rear, he has his Indian mercenary elephants. A royal guard cavalry, shot cap for the general. And then one, two, three, Sarissa Lancers again. Johnny coming in with the Shock Cavalry. He knows something about Shock Cav that we do not. AKA I do not. <laughs> I always talk so much crap about him, but good luck to Johnny with that. Now let's check out Caligero's Bactria. I believe we can see pretty much most of his units. So let's start at the front, work our way back. Front left. Thurio Spears, Greco Bactria and Assault Infantry. Ooh, tough infantry units crack there. Macedonian Settlers here, one. And then two, three, four, to the five. Hey. Um, more Thurio Spears, another Greek of Bactrian Assault. Pisidian Settlers. What is this? I believe this is an Axeman unit, right? A skirmisher that wields an axe after you do your fighting. Sogdian Javelinman. Oh, different type of unit. See? Sogdian Axeman over here in the rear on the left hand side. More Greek of Bactrians. Another Asogdian Axeman. Did I get that Greco Bactrian? I believe I did. Um, and then he has his own Indian elephants here. Bactrian cavalry, so some shot cav, 120 men per unit though. Greco Bactrian noble cav here in the rear. And then Sogdian camel riders. Oh, and one more. Bactrian cavalry as well. Again, another shot cav. Okay, let's go ahead and press play. See what happens in this battle. Straight off the bat, looking purely at the army compositions. Uh, it's hard to say who's got what. I think it's slightly favoring Johnny, just because the Therios units are so good. Um, the Sogdians can be nice, but they've been really nerfed. They have like almost no armor now. Whereas I believe they used to have about 20 armor. Can definitely be deadly, but you got to get a nice charge. If you don't, they're going to get destroyed. Macedonian settlers are decent pikes, although against their Greek bronze shield, they're not as good. So the main line of Bactria is definitely lacking slightly. Um, the Bactrian assault infantry, definitely a nice unit to have. They have some good armor piercing and whatnot. Very solid unit to bring in. They do have a javelin, 300 men per unit, as do the Furious Spears. I still think we're slightly favoring Johnny in terms of army comp. Just again, the Furious galore. Why not? If it was me, I don't have good luck with Furious units. <laughs> anyway, we're not here for me. We're here for these two legends. Battling it out for first and second place in our tournament. Johnny not messing around, looking to push forward his forces quickly here. That is a good solid run for them to get warmed up. Caligero coming on back as well. 
pushing in a slight sort of angle for his unit, sends out his cavalry wide yet again. Very much aware of the scorpion and how much damage it can do to his cav. Initial engagement begins. First blood drawn by Vectra, unless... Do we lose any units to the scorpion? I haven't seen any die. But Vectra gets a nice hail of javelins in against the Thurio spears. Good for them. Oh, but the Emperor is responding kind against Bactria. <laughs> Gotta love those javelins, mate. Bloody tough stuff to deal with. Um, the pikemen line up against each other. Sarissa on Sarissa here. Again, I would definitely favor the Greek bronze shield pikes that Epirus has brought to the field. The Macedonian sailors aren't terrible, but they will lose in a ground out fight over time. In my opinion. Greco-Bactrians alongside some uh, Thurio Spears. Looking to get involved in a little bit of a melee contest. Similar sort of start to the beginning of the last battle. Right hand side. Gonna have infantry sort of grinding out against each other. Caligero threatening with his cavalry. Maybe he's gonna be a bit more aggressive this time. He potentially looks like it. We're seeing some attack orders come out. The Scorpion is also targeting the Bactrian cavalry. Meanwhile, the left hand flank, Caligero pushing quite hard against Johnny. Johnny's having to be in a little bit more of a balanced formation now. He has his cavalry on his right hand side rather than just in a large blob. Yes, look at that. Nice charge by Caligero. Ties up two Epirate units at once. To be honest, he almost could sneak in a unit through here. Try and charge the pikes. He's charging right across the front line, pikeman on pikeman. Right hand flank, Caligero does charge in his cavalry, right? No, Thurio Spears there. Where did his cab go? Did he bring him back? Oh, wow. Yeah, they got hammered. They are constantly getting sniped at by the scorpion. Very frustrating for him to deal with. Elephants also have skirmishing capability, by the way. I believe they're using a bow and arrow? But yeah, Johnny is forced to divide up his cavalry alongside his elephants. Looks like he's going for a hard push. Oh, yeah, this is a commitment. Look at this. Ooh. Serious push. He knows that if he pushes out now, he does have the advantage. But oh, he pulls back last second. Oh, well, he does see the rotation come out from the elephants from Caligero. Oh, I would have loved to have seen that. Nice, hard, fast-paced action on that point. The general of Bactria is being sniped at. Poor bugger. Scorpions so frustrating to deal with when you're fighting against them. Johnny constantly has been utilizing these throughout the entire tournament. Caligero instead opting to get more cavalry. Definitely can respect that. Elephants on this left are looking to get involved, but... Just sort of tiptoeing around the edge and not committing. Infantry, meanwhile, are grinding out against each other here on the left. The pikemen are just staring each other to death. Caligero's pikes are out of formation. Johnny could give a sneaky attack order if he wanted. Get the initial advantage, pike against sword. Ooh, hang on, look at this cavalry commitment coming in from Johnny. And he's given the charge order. Oh, devastating charge to the side. Of these Bactrian and Thurio Spears. Ooh. Very, very nice. Immediately pulls out, though. Doesn't really give him enough time to get a lot of damage in. They killed about 15, almost 20 guys, it seems. But they are threatened by elephants and then Bactrian cavalry as well. Meanwhile, across the field, though, Epirus does take an L with one of their infantry. But Johnny, he goes with a hard commitment against... A Bactrian Cavalry charges his elephants on in. Ooh. Sees an opportunity to knock out some of the Bactrian Cav. Does not hesitate. Epirus loses a unit to the route, but it looks like Bactria is going to be following up closely behind here. Yes, they do. They lose one unit. Johnny does end up pulling back, though. And he also rotates some of his Cav around. Nice rotation. It's hard to tell who came out on top of that engagement there. Whew. Heavy stuff. Notice though that Johnny can bring his general forward. 
and support his troops with morale. Meanwhile, Caligero is forced to keep his general way in the back just because of the scorpion threat right here. Must be very frustrating for Caligero. Caligero is about to get charged by these elephants. They're going to come in and do a nice solid one against the Bactrian infantry. Ooh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Who doesn't love a good elephant charge in the morning? Just a, just enough. Just enough to do some di uh, some nice morale damage. Somehow, though, these guys are not wavering. That's kind of incredible. Meanwhile, oh, no. Miss micromanagement there. The cavalry were sent in order to go back, but they were just walking. That's not good enough. Johnny, again, seizing the opportunity, charges his cavalry forward. General also getting involved. Elephant wrapping up the flank of the Bactrians. Meanwhile, the Bactrian left. They are trying to respond in kind, but they're just not moving fast enough. The elephant's getting bogged down in a grind out fight. Not the type of fight they want to be in whatsoever. And then the Furio swords come in, pelt them with their javelins. Oh, this is. This is all happening at once here. Cavalry of Epirus absolutely threatening the, the back lines of the uh, Bactrians. Elephants as well, still just rattling on in. It's one thing Johnny does really, really well is when he commits his, his elephants, he commits them. And he just continues the wrecking ball through the enemy lines. The Bactrian right has been entirely demolished. Literally dissected. The cavalry is really trying to plug in the gaps, but the general's right here, stuck out on his own. While there is some hope on the left-hand side with the elephants, the cavalry back to the push back. They have done some nice job routing a lot of Epirate units. Very good work by Caligura, but they're going to come back from routing. They're not being chased. Not only that, but Caligura's about to lose his general mate. Oh. Stuck at a grind-out fight as a shot cap unit. Not ideal for that. But look at this. Johnny's elephants are done. They've had enough. Killed just over 200 men. Not the kind of numbers you're looking for here. He is going to be doing a charge against the General of Epirus. That could be a game changer right there in itself. Boom. Oh, but Johnny sends in reinforcements. Backs up his own general. And while he has lost his elephants, the damage has been done. The back... The Bactrians have lost their entire right hand flank. They're plugging in the gaps. They're trying to charge forward with their pikemen as well. Do a little bit of distraction on the left hand flank. There is so many Bactrian units left, but they're also quite damaged. The elephants are really, again, the one thing Caligero still has. He has to get his pikes in behind. There is no time to waste here for him. He's trying to bring his camels back as. Oh no, his camels are rounding off the field. He's bringing cavalry back. But. It really is basically who can swing around the other person the fastest now. Not only that, but Johnny has done serious morale damage in getting rid of the enemy general. More routes coming in against the Bactrians. Such a big loss. Elephants not being as effective as they would like to be. Nice charge there. That's better, but they are getting attacked by the Scorpion. Must be very frustrating to still be dealing with that after all of this time. Meanwhile, Johnny continues wrapping up the Bactrian right hand flank. His general appears to still be alive. Oh, that's kind of incredible. General actually still actively getting involved. Recharges some Bactrian pikes. The Macedonian settlers, they don't have the armor or the morale to stay in the fight. The elephants for Caligaro are still going strong, but the rest of his army is falling apart here. Oh my goodness. This is not looking good for Calogero, ladies and gentlemen. He's trying to get in some nice last minute charges with the elephants. But there's so many Epirate forces and they're also coming back from routing. Calogero did such a good job of routing that right hand flank. But he didn't crush it, he just routed it. They're all coming back. Big stock difference. Meanwhile, on the... Uh, Bactrian right over here by the blue circle we could see a lot of dead bodies a lot of them were killed and they were shattered off the field look at this mess now Bactrian's completely out of formation getting surrounded as well basically caught 
in this large V-shaped formation. Definitely stuck. And then they have cavalry still swooping around. <laughs> oh. The elephants desperately trying to win back the situation here. But the Sarissa calves somehow do quite well on the charge, actually. They don't really die. Might end up routing, but they hardly lost any men. Can't believe that. Elephants again, cruising on through. Trying to get what they can done, but... It's a little bit too little too late now. Too many Bactrians have routed off the field. The Epirates have them completely outnumbered and surrounded. And the Bactrians surrender on mass. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first ever Grand Final, the first ever Imperator declared for the Arena Maxima is Johnny the Dumpling. Congratulations to him for taking first place in the Arena Maxima Diadochi Wars Edition. Oh my god goodness it's a close victory fantastic stuff by both players but let's go ahead and check out the stats together everybody Woohoo! bloody hell mate what an epic fight that was even though this fight was still a lot faster than the last one this was still a nail biter in my opinion this was quite close um the left hand push coming in from calagero was very nicely timed to counteract against the epirate push against the back turn right but just as they're spinning around in a circle, Johnny just came out on top. His cavalry did better. His elephants also did quite well, which is funny considering they died off quite quickly, but they did their job. They shattered the entire right-hand side of the of the uh, Bactrian line. Sorry. Um, meanwhile, the Bactrian elephants, they have a good amount of kills, but they just didn't route enough men, which is really what your elephants are dedicated for. You want them to get a good few hundred kills, but really, if you can route a large chunk of the enemy army, that's really going to get you that W. And we see that here. Johnny the Dumpling takes the win. Um, wow, what a matchup. Two incredibly well-known players in the DEI community. I'm so happy that both made it to the grand final. Calogero takes in a very solid, very respectable second place. Massive props to you, my man. I've been following you uh, in the online community for at least a couple years now, I swear. And you've been nothing but a complete treasure to watch. So thank you very much for joining. Getting all the way up to second place. You absolutely earned it, mate. Johnny the Dumpling came in and won a very nice, solid victory, though. Absolute mad props to both of you. Just really beyond treasure to have you all here. To all of you watching out there at home, thank you all for just spending your time with us. To those of you who participated in the tournament and made it as magical as it was, Thank you all so much for joining. I really, really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Me and the moderating team, Real Life Stefan, G.O.D., the rocks of our community. Thank you both so much for your continued support, gentlemen. Um, G.O.D. coming in big with the tournament running and administration, rule set and all of that as well. Thank you all very, very much. But ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, let me announce the first winner of the Arena Maxima Tournament. Die Donkey Wars Edition is Johnny the Dumpling. Congratulations on being Imperator, mate. You've earned it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you yourself would like to get involved, be sure to check out the link in the description that will take you to our Discord, where we already have our next tournament. And that's right, our next version of the Arena Maxima is announced. Go ahead and check it out. For the next tournament, everyone, we are diving into the medieval period. And your boy, a Measureholic is jumping in as well that's right i'm going to be participating in this next tournament it's going to be an absolute banger anyway i shall see you all over there okay so thank you all so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed and i shall see you in the next arena maxima tournament